Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this video today is gonna be uh, the review about my Campy. So in my Pinarello, I'm riding the Campy drivetrain and I have here Campagnolo Tina. So uh, I put about 1000 kilometers on my Pinarello and I'm gonna be explaining to you right now what is it that I have changed on it, what kind of wear and tear I have on this drivetrain and that's gonna be what this video in will include. Uh, by the way, if you found this useful, uh, make sure to give it a nice thumbs up and, and subscribe over here because a lot of people can see this and that's gonna be beneficial for them. So let's start off over here. So I have here um, uh, 11 speed Athena uh, drive chain on, on my Pinarello. So this uh, group set has been out there for quite some time, even I would say about a decade. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because if you happen to have a bike with this drivetrain or similarly spec'd out campy, you will be able to know what, what, what kind of wear and tear you can expect on your, on your bike. So I'm going to start off from the uh, uh, brake levers and I'm going to uh, finish down at the end where my uh, rear derailleur is. So here we go. So first thing that uh, uh, when I bought this brand new, uh, again, I'm gonna say I have about 1,000 kilometers on it. Uh, I was lucky and I got the one with the Athena package. So, uh, sorry, uh, Athena uh, can be carbon uh, brake levers. So, uh, what, what, I, what I've been noticing, the 11-speed Athena comes with the uh, aluminum. So, they, these are aluminum. And you also can get a carbon version. I meant to say you have aluminum and then you have a carbon. Here in my case, I do have a carbon carbon uh, brake levers, and these are much much more comfortable uh, rather than your original that are aluminum. They kind of feel strange, like when you press on that uh, alloy, it just has a kind of strange feel to it. Whereas this is a carbon, and you see it's kind of clear coated, so it's a really nice touch, a really nice touch to it, you know, and I really like. So since we're talking about uh, them, I never had any issues with them whatsoever. Uh, I was skeptical about the cosmetics. So let me show you here. They held up pretty nicely. And let's look at the hoods here. Uh, I always uh, rest my uh, hands right here and the hoods do look immaculate for 1000 kilometers. So I would give a thumbs up to the hoods, uh, sorry, and the brake levers. They really have held up pretty nicely. And even these guys, the this ones, they ha they have been pretty nicely held up. So going back to that will be my uh, headset. So there's my headset over here. Uh, since I got the bike and I put 1,000 kilometers on it, nothing was changed. Uh, I haven't I haven't uh, I've taken a, a bike to a bike shop, and they told me they checked it over. But they told me that I don't have to uh, service it for now because the bike has a fairly low mileage. So, like, I, like I will just leave it at that point. You know, that's that's what they're telling me. I love to take my bike to my local Pinarello, and then I do small stuff here and there, like a few small tweaks. But uh, mainly, I love when when the Pinarello dealer tells me what to do, and I follow their protocols. Okay, so here we go. Let's get to the brakes. And now this is a little bit interesting here. I, I don't have the campy brakes on it because the bike came with uh, uh, most. It's uh, what that is, it's a Pinarello company that makes the brakes for their bikes. And this bike was specced out with the most brakes. And again, I kind of ride on the flat roads and whatnot. But here you go. The brakes are pretty much brand new after 1000 kilometers. Hope I can zoom in this thing here. But there you go. Uh, Original cables, so the, the brake pads are original after 1,000 kilometers. The brake cables are original as well. So I'll let you have the thing right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, since we are uh, at this area over here, uh, the uh, the cable housings and internal cables are original as well. So I'll let you see the condition over here. See, it's pretty pretty mint. I also had them inspected as well, so the cables are top-notch. Now I'm gonna just finish off with the uh, 
uh, cables at the back here, as well as the brake calipers. So down at the back here, you don't have any surprises. Everything looks just like at the front. There you go, yeah. Okay, so now let's get back over here. Uh, this is my uh, drive chain over here. So I'm running still the original chain. I just started clicking it recently. The chain is original. Nothing was changed there. Uh, uh, the bottom bracket wasn't serviced yet. I also had this inspected. And since I put only about 1,000 kilometers on the bike, uh, they told me they told me not to uh, not to uh, uh, touch it for now because they can kind of check it over and they know at, my, at what mileage I should service my bottom bracket which is right here. Now um, I seen that uh, with the chorus and I'm not sure if this is the case with the Tina. Uh, you guys can get uh, carbon cages uh, on your front derailleur and I would recommend that you get the the carbon upgrades because i've been i've been told by the bike shop that uh, it will it will make shifting a little more stiffer so that's what i've been told at the store and um, i would that's what i would advise so if you can spring a little bit more cash if you can pay extra for the uh, carbon cages on the uh, chorus i'm not sure if uh, carbon is available on tina but i know i've seen them on the chorus when it can't be chorus, and that's where you can get the uh, carbon cages right there. Now I also had the, uh, I'm gonna zoom on them. I also had the uh, chain rigs inspected. And if you, if you look over here, they do look brand new. So the that's been taken care of because if you look after your chain, and if you look after your uh, chain rigs, you're good to go. This stuff can get expensive. So like, I, like I've done it in my other videos, I have a chain checker but I check this stuff over and that's what I usually do. Now let's get back over here. Uh, I'm running kind of cheapy, uh, the look pedals over there. <laughs> they're, they're not, uh, they're nothing too crazy, but I'll let you have a look. They held up pretty decently. Again, I'm not sure if I said it, uh, original chain. So again, only 1000 on the original chain, no issues. Now let's get back over here and uh, come with the cassette. Now I have original cassette on my, uh, on, on this drivetrain, nothing was changed there. Uh, still in a decent condition. First, the chain will go. I heard, and then the, the cassette. If you if you don't keep an eye, so that's that's pretty high quality over there. And then uh, my der my uh, Athena real derailleur. Now this is the part where things get a little tricky here. Uh, for whatever reason, I had a faulty cable at the back here, and I got the Pinarello dealer to. Uh, ordered the cable and install it for me. I mean, I could have installed it on my own, but I didn't have the part. So I let the Pinarello dealer take care of that and uh, fix that. So the cable that you see over here, let's zoom in, is the only thing that I have replaced on my drive train. So here we go, that's the, that's the cable. So apart from my uh, 1000 kilometers on my uh, Pinarello, the only thing that this drive train needed to be Replaced is the cable which is right here. So like I said, this will be kind of a medium size of video of what you can expect with 1000 kilometers on your campy drivetrain. As you can see, money well spent, 100% happy with the drivetrain. And that's pretty much that. Hope you found it useful. Like, subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.